Now, when a, a leader, a, a pastoral leader, ends up having um, a, a collapse like this, we generally talk, call it a, a moral fall or a fall. And when someone has a moral fall, we often talk about redemption, but we seldom talk about prevention. We all know someone who's had a fall. Uh, they didn't wake up one morning and decide, I'm going to end my ministry career today, or I'm going to start my way on a path that is ultimately going to bring about destruction. Uh, it tends to be in three sort of main ways. People burn out because pastoral ministry is emotional work. You have to engage your heart. Uh, you cannot do pastoral ministry well unless you are engaging your heart. And, uh, and in doing so, you can burn out if you don't have rhythms uh, in your life. Uh, secondly, you can break down. You can just lose it. Uh, I once saw a pastor who, who hit a breaking point and he just snapped and he started hitting his head against a wall. Um, it's disturbing to see, but People can just snap under the pressure. They can have a breakdown. Before you know it, they're walking up on stage in an awards ceremony and they're slapping someone. You see a breakdown. Or, or sometimes people blow up. They blow up their lives. It's burnout, breakdown, or blow up. Uh, money, sex, and power still are the great temptations of leaders. And if we're not very careful, we use unhealthy coping mechanisms to cope with the strain and the pressure of doing this job. Uh, I had a friend, a pastor friend, who told me that he went to see Jimmy Baker, Jim Baker, when he was in prison. This is years ago. Jim Baker had been arrested, obviously, for embezzling money and all kinds of stuff. And he sat down with this pastor. He sat down with Jim Baker, and he looked at him, and he said, he said, I just have a question for you. When did you fall out of love with Jesus? And, and Jim Baker responded by saying, I never did. He said, I just stopped fearing God. We must have a healthy fear of God in the midst of doing what we do to continue to be operating and, and functioning and ministering in his name.